Well, I'm going to perform a little experiment. Greg Sanderson commented on my channel and he said that he used to spray the uh, Pam or certain uh, cooking oil on his snow shovels um, to prevent the snow from sticking on the snow shovels. And there's a reason why I have comments on my channel because I learn a lot from them and it kind of piques my interest. You know, um, a lot of comments that I read, you know, I, I do some testing from just the comments on my channel and I'm going, yesterday I struggled with this wet snow because I was using the dais nine inch coil yesterday and that snow was packing on my coil like this big around for a nine inch coil right and it makes it very heavy and very hard to swing around this is going to be an experiment on the the equinox 11 inch coil and this this snow is even more wetter today right so i'm going to spray this this cooking oil all over my coil right i don't know how it's going to affect the durability of this um, coil cover, you know, throughout time, but it's not going to be on the coil forever, right? I just want it to be on the coil just for a few hours, right? When I'm detecting, right? And I don't want that co that snow to stick to my coil because it makes it really heavy. I mean, if you guys have ever detected in the snow, you guys know how heavy that snow gets on your coil. So I'm just going to cover this coil in oil. And I'm going to sweep over that snow there in my front yard. And I'm going to see how good this works. All right. I'm going to extend it out here just a little bit here. See if it works, right? This might not work, right? Nope. It's not working. It's just sticking worse to the, to the, uh, it's sticking worse to the coil actually. Just sweep over it a few times there. It didn't really do much, much difference because the Equinox coil has a lot of lobes on it, right? A lot of that, um, that snow just wants to pack in between here, right? So, this is the only coil that I'm gonna try this with, just because um, this, the, you know, uh, what I would really like to see in detectors, right? Well, thank you. Thank you, Greg Sanderson, for sending your comment. I love testing comments out, right? That's what I'm all about, right? If I hear some really interesting or intriguing, an intriguing comment, I'll do the, I'll, I'll do a test on that comment, right? And what I, you know, I think the future of detecting really is the machines. The machines are going to be, have voice commands on them, right? My camera has voice commands. Our phones, our computers, even light bulbs, homes, right? A lot of stuff has voice commands these days. And I think it's going to be happening pretty soon here. That would be amazing if, if uh, smart detectors could come out, right? They could uh, have voice commands. And, you know, I, I have, I've had a few problems with my GoPro camera in the past. If I have my voice command on, somebody says, hey, is that a GoPro? GoPro camera and then my camera does something weird because you know um somebody mentioned GoPro and then my camera wants to do a command and my camera turns off or does something weird right we've all we all been there you know Siri show me videos on metal detecting okay got it then it shows you a freaking video of how to knit a sweater for your freaking five-year-old child, right? They're not perfect, right? Voice commands aren't perfect. But I would love to have a metal detector, you know? Let's, let's look into the future here, right? We got the Deus 2 coming out. We got the Nokia Legend coming out. What's next after them, right? They probably don't 
the Note 11 and the Deus 2 probably don't have uh, don't have voice commands on them. I, I can pop it open and look right off the bat to see if there's a voice command module on the detectors, but probably not. You know, what is the Deus 4 going to have, right? I would like to be able to say, Deus 4, go to program 31, right? Or Deus 4, switch recovery speed to 31, right? Or to 17 or whatever, right? Or the Nocta product, you know, uh, maybe the Nocta product, the Nocta, Nocta's going to come out with a Nocta Infinity, right? <clears throat> or Deus, Deus 4, go to program 17, hot, <laughs> hot program, right? Because I just love the hot program on the Deus 1. And, uh, you know, the Nocta Infinity, you know, it's coming first from here, from my channel. Hopefully there's going to be a Nocta Infinity coming out, right? Note to infinity, change recovery speed to four. Note to infinity, then in infinity, change frequencies to 81 kilohertz, right? Note to infinity, go to simplex program, park one, <laughs> right? Just a thought, right? <laughs> You know, the metal detectors are going to be smart in the future here, not too far away. You know, maybe the day, day of seven or Nocta Galaxy or whatever. You know, who knows? But I'm always experimenting, always testing. You know, a lot of comments. Some um, I, I read all of my comments. I can't respond to all my comments. But thank you, Greg Sanderson, for making my brain think a little bit. You know what? And that that would be that would be nice too. Stay with me here on this. That would be nice too to have a metal detector that has a heated coil. So those detectorists who are uh, detecting in these conditions right here with really wet snow, it's really tough to detect in these conditions right here. If you had a heated coil, you know, an insulated coil that just heats up just a little bit every once in a while to keep that snow off your coil. Because if you've ever detected in the snow like this here, it's really tough. Some of the toughest conditions I've detected in has been in snow. You know, you got that layer of snow on the top there. You know, it's not like you're gonna be detecting in ice or anything. Not a lot of people metal detect in ice, but um, you know, just trying to brainstorm a little bit here, trying to, you know, trying to prove some theories. You know, and uh, I don't know if it's really going to work spraying the PAM on there, but um, it could work for a different detector with a different style of coil that doesn't have so many lobes on it. Because that this this coil really, really there's not much room um, in between. There's not much space in that coil for that snow to drop past it, right? Because it has so many lobes on it, All right? Heated coils. And voice command, smart detectors are coming. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.